The archducal hat or coronet was first shown on a portrait of Rudolf IV, Duke of Austria, who reigned from 1358 to 1365. Margaret of Austria, Regent of the Netherlands, is shown wearing it on her tomb, but she probably never actually wore this while alive. The ducal hat of Styria is a jagged crown made out of silver gilt, believed to have been produced in the 15th century. It was refashioned with pearls and emeralds in 1766. It was kept in Vienna until 1790, when the Styrian estates asked for it to be returned. In the 19th century, it was refitted the ducal hat is about 20.5 centimetres high and has a diameter of 20 centimetres. The crown of Rudolf II, later called the crown of the Austrian Empire, made in 1602, it is made of pure gold, partially enamelled and studded with diamonds, rubies, spinel rubies, sapphires, pearls, and cushioned with velvet. It has three distinct principal elements, which symbolize the right to rule. The circle with the fleur de lis mounts in the shape of a royal crown, the high arch descending from the imperial crown, and the gold symbolizing the divine right of the emperor to rule. The pearls run in rows like lights, the crown is topped by a bluish-green emerald, which symbolises heaven. The choice and number of the stones used have a mystical significance. Eight diamonds decorate the crown. Eight is a holy number, referring to the octagonal body of the imperial crown. The diamond is a symbol of Christ. The imperial orb and scepter, made in Prague between 1612 and 1615, were commissioned by Emperor Matthias, the successor of Rudolf II. Both insignia were made out of the same material as the crown, and following the same concept, they are also partially enamelled and studded with rubies, sapphires and pearls. The mantle of the Austrian Empire, made in Vienna in 1830. It was commissioned by Emperor Francis I for the coronation of his son, Ferdinand, as younger king of Hungary. The mantle is made out of red velvet, ermine and white silk and pranked with a gold embroidered scatter pattern formed of double eagles with the Austrian arms. The border is decorated with oak and laurel leaves. The coronation robes of the Kingdom of Lombardy, made in Vienna in 1838. They are patterns similar to the mantle of the Austrian Empire, but made out of blue and orange velvet with gold and silver embroidery, ermine and lace. The edging of the mantle is accompanied by a line of medallions in which the iron crown of Lombardy is displayed. Parallel to this runs a broad ornamental border composed of sprays of palm fronds, oak and laurel leaves. The cradle of the King of Rome was commissioned by the city of Paris as a gift to Napoleon and his wife, Empress Marie Louise, on the birth of their son, Napoleon II. It was built in Paris in 1811. The cradle is silver gilt and decorated with gold, mother of pearl, Copper plates covered with velvet, silk and teal, with gold and silver embroidery. 
and a bird sits at the foot. Bees, the symbol of the Bonaparte dynasty, decorate the sides. The cradle was more a horizontal throne with all its splendour and a more practical cradle was also commissioned. An emerald unguentarium commissioned by Emperor Ferdinand II and produced in Prague in 1641 is made out of a single piece, emerald 2,680 carats. 536 grams and enamelled with gold. The Crown of Stephen is a crown given by the Ottoman Sultan to Stephen, Prince of Hungary and Transylvania in the early 17th century. It was produced from gold, rubies, spinels, emeralds, turquoise, pearls and silk. It is 0.235 metres high and weighs 1.88 kilograms. St. Stephen's Purse It is a rectangular gold 9th century reliquary studded with gemstones that is part of the imperial regalia of the Holy Roman Empire. It consists of a purse containing soil that is claimed to be soaked in the blood of St. Stephen. The Imperial Crown of the Holy Roman Empire, a hoop crown with a characteristic octagonal shape. This was the coronation crown of the Holy Roman Emperor, probably from the late 10th century until the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806. The crown was used in the coronation of the King of the Romans. The title assumed by the Emperor-elect immediately after his election. It is now kept in the Imperial Treasury of the Hofburg in Vienna, Austria. The Imperial Cross. It has served as the container for the two great relics of Christ. The Holy Lance in its horizontal arms and the reliquary of the true cross in the lower shaft. It is thus the original reliquary of the imperial relics. The imperial cross is kept in the imperial treasury in the Hofburg. It has been suggested that the cross was probably created sometime around 1024 to 1025. An older base was replicated with the current gilt silver base of the cross in 1350 in Prague at the command of Charles IV. The imperial sword is one of the four most important parts of the imperial regalia of the Holy Roman Empire. During a coronation, it was given to the emperor. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.